use memo helps us memoize components. So for those who don't know what memoization is, it's a computer science concept. Uh, for example, if you have a pure function, uh, which takes some arguments and it returns uh, some result, uh, every time it will predictably return the same results for the same arguments. For example, if you have an add function, if you pass uh, two numbers, let's say one and two, it will always return three for one and two. So uh, next time if you want to run that function with one and two, you don't really need to run the function. You already know that the output will be three so you can cache it. Same thing happens in React hooks. If you have a component that doesn't have props or state changing, you don't need to render it. You can just use the same output as before. So let's look at how it works. And welcome to Texas Tutorials. So for that, I'm going to create a very simple state. So let's use use state from React. And I'm going to create a very simple state, a primitive type, some number, and I'm going to initialize, with, initialize it with 0. And as we know, this gives us an array. The getter would be i, and setter would be set i. Actually, this should be inside the app here. And then here, I can give it a label first, h3. Say use memo, and then I can just simply print that i here. So I would say i is i. Okay, so I get some i, and I can change this i because we want to see how the component reacts to the change. So we're gonna create another component that would react to the change, but for that we would need a button uh, to change the state. So let's have a button and we can call this increment i and it would have on click event. So we did all of this. Uh, let's call it on click handle. We can define that handle here. Function on click handle. And all it would do is set i with i plus 1. So every time it increments. So if I click on here, it increments. Okay, now let's create another component inside here. Uh, I'm going to create a folder called components. And inside here, I'm going to have a, a new component called child.js. And this component is pretty simple. Uh, we need to import react from react and then we build a function called child and then we export it export default child so what do we do in between so we want to measure uh, we can use this component inside our app but we want to measure whenever I increment the i it actually updates the component or not and in order to see that I can inside this component I can use uh, use effect so here I can do use effect I can have some sort of counter let's call it render count equal to zero to start with and I can do use effect because every time the component changes or updates I want to increase the render count so I know how many times this component has been updated. So inside here, all I would do is render count plus plus. And then this component would return a simple div with render count is render count. Okay, now let's import this component inside our app. I can say import child from components slash child. I will do normal. First I can say h3 normal render and I can render the child here. So now 
every time I update it, it actually renders this child component, even though there's nothing inside has changed. When you use classes to create components, there is a lifecycle hook called component should update, where you can check the uh, props and compare it and make a decision. If the prop hasn't changed, then you can say don't render this component. Uh, the prop hasn't changed because I'm not passing any props into the shell, so it should not actually render, but the way React works, it always renders, so I can make that decision. So for that, I can just use use memo. And so I need to import use memo from React. And what I'll do is wrap the entire child component with memo. So I would say use memo and it would have a callback function and an array. And inside the callback function, I would, all it does is returns the child component. And this returns memo as child. So I can say memo child equal to. So what I did was I use memo to memoize this child. I can here, I can have another entry called memo child, memo render. And instead of rendering child, I'm just going to interpolate the memo child. And when I now increment this, this one doesn't increment, but this one increment. That means uh, the regular child is rendering, but memo child is not re-rendering. Now, let's say if I'm passing uh, I into it and I want to say, okay, only update when I is updated, then I can simply pass I. And now if I run it only when I is updated, this would get updated. But let's say if I have an on click event which updates something else, uh, then this won't get updated. I hope you have enjoyed uh, this video. And if you did, please like. Don't forget to like. It takes a, a few seconds. Uh, like, subscribe, and provide a nice comment. And you can check out the whole React series. And uh, this series would be also React Hook series. So please do check it out. I'll provide a link here. And you can help me translate this video. It's pretty easy. Uh, the information is in the description. And thank you.